Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are on the coast of the Desert River in Map Square J5 building a Mitraean Sun Temple, an open air shrine to the god Mitra. The requirements are on screen now, feel free to screenshot them if you need to. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, start off with this base plate design. Place the Mitra shrine in the center, and then use the pillar trick to place corner stable pillars on the Aquilonian tiles that jut out from the main body of the build. These will be kinda like buttresses, so having these framed by the pillars will give them a bit more shape. You don't have to do this, but I do think it helps with the aesthetics. With the pillar tricking complete, place Aquilonian walls below the ceilings to close the gaps. Whilst doing this, make sure you've added the tricked pillars on the interior corners of the Aquilonian tiles too, as I almost forgot. From there, build the walls up again to recede inward to what will be the final size of the temple. This is kind of hard to explain, but I think the footage will make it pretty clear how to lay out the walls. It is quite simple in the end, just build up the buttress segments two tiles high, and all the tiles between one tile high. Next, use Terranian roof pieces to slope the lowered perimeter walls into the build. I use Terranian for the gold tones as I think it mimics the idea of the sun quite nicely and plays well with the Mitra shrine at the center. Add ceilings above each of the raised buttresses and then add Terranian crenellated walls atop the walls with fences on the areas where you might be able to fall or jump off the build. Add stairs down to the lowered sections, and then put Terranian crenellated walls atop the buttress segments, and then cap the buttresses off with Terranian rooftop pieces. An alternative material for the roofing pieces could also be Aqualonian, if you want it to be a little cleaner. Replace the tricked stable pillars with Aquilonian pillars. Leave the front segment to last, as you'll need to do the stairs before you do the pillars. Add stairs down at the front of the temple. The staircase will step down to a flat, down again on either side, and then back on itself to the centre. Support the ceilings with pillars and close up the gaps with Aquilonian walls, using sloping sides to smooth them down into the build. Use sloping sides beneath the mid-tier stairs and place Aquilonian fences to cover the stairs, and then finish up by replacing the pillars. Finally, add Aquilonian fences to the stairs, and then replace the top tiles on each buttress with Aquilonian windows to follow the theme of gold on that layer. Thank you. 
Finally, when the shadow build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. I've decorated lightly, lit the build well, and included Mitraean priests and guards at the temple. From my research, temples of Mitra usually don't really have any ornamentation, but that doesn't necessarily make for a good build, so decorating this was a little tricky. I included statues of guidance in the shape of Mitra, alongside clan banners depicting a phoenix rising over the sun, which I think fits nicely as the phoenix is the symbol of Mitra. In terms of thematic decoration, I don't know whether this is just me, but I've always seen Mitra as somewhat analogous for the idea of God in the Christian faith, so I've taken that approach when decorating this build. By that I mean I've added benches around the temple centred around the shrine itself to allow worship, and on each side I've included a bath of water, alongside food and pitchers of wine. This is to link to the Christian rite of the Eucharist, where Christians consume bread and wine as the symbolic body and blood of Christ. To link further with the Christian faith, the baths have an unobstructed view of the sun at almost all times. Seeing as Mitra is the god of the sun, the theory here is that the water could be blessed by the sunlight, thus becoming somewhat analogous to holy water. Worshippers of Mitra believe in dignified and respectable rituals to atone and cleanse themselves, and thus the blessed water could be used for washing or something akin to baptism as a symbolic way of cleansing oneself. Aside from those decorations though, I've kept things scaled back and simple, which was actually kind of difficult. Open air builds are not usually my thing, nor are lightly decorated structures, so it took a bit of discipline to get this temple to where it should be. Thanks to the design though, it comes off pretty good, and in the end I think this build makes for a nice minor temple that is unique whilst also fitting the ideals of Mitra fairly faithfully. And there we have it, a Mitraean Sun Temple on the Exile Lands in Map Square J5. Thank you for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. This is only the second time I've built a temple to Mitra, the first being over four years ago, and that build wasn't great, so I hope you all enjoyed this build. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.